you already know who I am. You you read the title. But uh I'm making a mildly ambitious game with zero experience. Actually I I should say that I will make a game, because I uh I haven't started. Editor's note, I forgot to say why I'm even making this. Well, you see, I'm making this to be the project description in the Tuba Warriors Discord server joint. It's a really cool place, instead of a block of text. Looking back on it, I should have just written the block of text. Alright, how can I make this as obnoxiously long as possible? Uh... Orchestralis is a single-player, 2D, top-down, open-world, non-linear, dynamic, political action-adventure RPG. Holo. Orchestralis is a non-linear, action-adventure RPG in an open, instrument-based world where you create your own story. There. But what do you mean by that? Well, here, dear viewer, let me tell you. I imagine the game as you, the character, are presented, or present to yourself, different situations that require you to make certain choices. Uh, each choice causes different events which cause different choices and it all devolves... <sighs> I'm leaving that in. And it all devolves into a whole big web network of events that eventually end up at some number of possible endings. And everyone's an instrument. Uh, to do the event web thing, I've been considering having a bunch of variables that, depending on what they are, determine what events get triggered. Uh, with the choices of previous events that were triggered modifying the variables which causes the future events... Uh... Yeah, it's a cycle of event, choice, result, event, and so on. So the entire thing happens on this nice, hefty slab of land. You know, like the islands in Pokemon games, except it can fit four separate nations. Speaking of four nations, uh, there's brass, woodwind, string, and percussion. Creative, I know. There will be some other things sprinkled in there, too. Uh, each nation will have some unique quirk in its governing style. One nation might be a chief-based oligarchy. Another nation might be a tyrannical dictator who wants to conquer the world. You get the point. Each nation might have some kind of problem that needs solving, or some kind of goal that needs achieving. Though, that's going into win condition stuff, and I haven't quite fleshed that out yet. A big thing that I want Orchestralis to feature is the interactions between nations, and especially the player's part in those interactions. I mean, who wouldn't want to start a war that decimates half the world's population? I mean, huh, I don't know about you, but I sure would. There's no one designated bad guy. Who or what the antagonist is is based off of your experiences in the game, such as the prejudices of the NPCs you interact with, the uh, quests you go on, all that stuff. As a product of having multiple endings, there are naturally multiple villains, and I put villains in quotes because they aren't actual villain villains, so you're just seeing I already said this. Moving on. Movement. Basic WST with some zazz. Economy. Get money by doing thing, spend money at thing place to get thing to do more things. Combat. You stab guy, guy stab you. Okay, wait. This one actually has substance. I mean, uh, it's your average combat. The you stab guy, guy stab you part is completely accurate. But the catch is that the guy you stab is not limited to enemies. No, no. You see. You can fight everything. Bosses, civilians, even the children. Yes, you heard me right. Even the children. Wait, no, no, no. It, it, it's not like that. Yeah, you'll still be able to stab the children, but there will be social. There's consequences. It's not like, you know, just a, a free-for-all.
What is this Orchestralis you speak of? All I know is War Crime Simulator 2020 something. Am I right? Am I right? So there's not going to be a dedicated battle screen, because transitions absolutely kill the mood. Nobody likes a stab, doo -doo -doo -doo. now you fight. No. The good stuff is when you stab- You can be walking down the street, oops I misclicked, bam, you're a wanted felon. Now that is invigorating gameplay. Anyways, uh, I'm done with this. I'm certain I missed something, but I could not be bothered to find it. Uh, you know how you're not supposed to spend too long in the brainstorming phase? Yeah, uh, I've been in that phase for eight months. Psych! It's been a year! It has been so long that whatever I may have forgotten to put in has probably already changed. Half the stuff I said in this video also has probably already changed. That's probably an exaggeration, but I have already rewritten the script three times and re-recorded the audio another three times, and I just want to be done with this. Anyways, back to the video. I should really start working. I still don't know what I'm doing. What am I getting myself into?